Hello, I'm Acting Captain Sean Yates with the City of Fort Myers Police Department. Uh, the Fort Myers Police Department would like to provide an investigative update on the June 25th traffic fatality tragedy that occurred on Top Golf Way. We would first like to extend our heartfelt condolences to the families and friends affected by this tragic incident. Since the incident, our team has been actively working to conduct a thorough investigation to gather all pertinent, pertinent information uh, surrounding this tragedy. The investigation is still and will remain active over the coming months. At this time, we can confirm the following information. Speed was the primary factor in this crash. The pre-crash speed coming into the corner in the area of this crash was 70 to 75 miles an hour. The speed limit on top golfway is 25 miles per hour. There were no other vehicles involved in this crash as confirmed by surveillance cameras in the area. The driver and registered owner of the involved black 2021 Kia Forte has been confirmed to be one of the deceased, 19-year-old Jesus Salinas. The preliminary cause of death from the uh, District 21 Medical Examiner's Office of all five occupants is drowning with three of the occupants sustaining blunt force trauma injuries that were consistent with the crash. Toxicology results, as well as the final finding of the medical examiner's office are pending. We understand that no words can fully alleviate the pain and loss experienced by the families affected in this tragedy. Our commitment to preventing such incidents in the future is unwavering, and we will continue to strive towards roadway safety for everyone. Again, we extend our deepest sympathies to the bereaved families and will continue to work diligently to find the answers to the factors that led to this tragic incident. That's all I have for my statement at this point. Are there any questions that I can field? So we heard that drowning was the cause of death. Um, was there any information you've seen that there was a struggle or that there was a chance to maybe escape out of the vehicle? At this point, no. Again, we're going to look into all the circumstances around that, and that'll be part of the ongoing investigation. We're going to look into all factors, be both pre-crash and during the crash, uh, to look at that. But we've got a ways, a lot of things to, to sort through to be able to get any type of uh, statement as to what occurred in the car pre or during the crash. Survivable. Yes, ma'am. So we've seen online that they're already calling for a petition for a safer roadway, whatever that may look like. Does Fort Myers Police believe that that's something that you want to look into as well? Is there anybody who can make this small stretch of road any safer for vehicles? I know you said speed was a factor, so if you're going 75, you're going 75. I get that. But is this something you're looking into at all? It's part of the investigation with all of our traffic investigations will look at roadway factors that come into play and if we do see factors that were potential problems with or causation to the crash uh, then we'll look at those and then we make those recommendations up through uh, the city the county and even the state level depending on the roadways that we're dealing with not really in the gen general area but not on top cough way it's not not a large problem though no. Uh, we've looked at surveillance video in the area, so if you would say we're looking at uh, businesses around in the community, uh, looking at uh, surveillance video, so that specifically was able where we were able to confirm that no other vehicles were involved. Are you still searching for tips from the community as to how this crash ended up happening or what happened before? We, we'll continue to look for any information that anybody has pertaining to the crash so we can look at this incident as a whole and try to find out the reasons that it was. Again, the primary factor looks at speed, uh, but we'll look at why was the speed occurring, okay? How were the senior able to determine the speed of the car on the car So um, in this particular case, we, we uh, did a download of the event data recorder that was on that particular vehicle. Um, we've got the preliminary information on that, but we're still sorting through that information uh, right now to get a full report on that. But the preliminary investigation uh, with speed is from the event data recorder and then our traffic homicide investigators looking at the damage 
uh, and the scene as well. Uh, they, they both appear to correlate uh, to, to give us that speed. Uh, the road, the vehicle left the roadway and hit an embankment prior to entering the water. As far as the timeline, can you say the timeline was, I mean, this was registered on the car. Did he pick up the other four occupants from work and they were leaving work? Can you give any information on that timeline? At this point, we're still piecing all of that together, the timeline of what happened pre-crash uh, with the events that they have. So before I comment on that, we want to be able to solidify what, we're, what we've learned. Absolutely. So we will look at text messages, phones. We will look at uh, conversations that may have occurred with friends, uh, conversations they may have had with employees in different timelines. Uh, so we'll look at all that information and try to piece that together. Okay. If there's no other questions, we'll go ahead and conclude the interview. Can you spell your name one more time? Uh, first name is Sean, S-H-A-W-N. Last name is Yates, Y-A-T-E-S. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.